Hey everybody, it's Lisa from stampingwithlisa.com. We're gonna try this again. My power went out uh, right before seven o'clock when I was gonna try and do this Facebook Live. It was about <laughs> five minutes till and I've got everything set up, ready to go, and all of a sudden, boom, the, the power went out. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So, it just came back on a few minutes ago. So, let me get everything set up again. Get this on my computer screen. All right. Hey, Deb and Carol. Got somebody watching already. Yahoo! Um, anyway, I've been sitting in the dark. I found my one flashlight. <laughs> and uh, I, w I went online on my phone and, and found out there was an accident. And I could hear all the sirens and everything. So somebody hit a pole, I guess. So, hey, girls. Um... So this is one of the cards we're going to do tonight. This is Christmas in July card class. So thanks for coming. Hey, Betsy. Hey, Michelle. Um, hey, Patty. All right. So we're going to do two cards tonight. This is one of them. This is the first one we're going to do. So let me show you what you need. So first of all, you need a piece of white cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. Then you need a piece of crumb cake. This is four by five and a quarter. And I've already embossed it just because I didn't have room on my table for a big shot. So I embossed it with this, which, you know what? I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> I'm famous for this. Every time I do a video, I forget the name of everything. Let me look it up real quick. I think it's Woodland's embossing folder. Let me see. Where is it? Oh yeah, Woodland. Woodland embossing folder on page 185. All right, so we're, I embossed it with that ahead of time. And I should write the name on here so then I won't forget it. But I embossed it this way. First I did it the other way and it didn't look very good so I turned it around and did it the other way. So I embossed this first and then I have two scraps, which I've already cut out too, um, white and seaside spray. And this is using the, um, whoops, hold on, the stitch nested label dies, which come in here. This is the two biggest ones. So I've got the seaside spray and the biggest one and then the white and this one. And I didn't worry about the edge of it because I'm going to cut it off. So I really only needed the one bottom piece and then I'm cutting that top part off. So even though mine are trimmed off. I'm, I only need this part and it's going to get cut off at the top. So even if my scrap wasn't big enough, it didn't matter. So if you want to cut the whole thing off, you can. And this one, let me see how big this is. It is three, about three inches by five and a quarter. That's the biggest one. And the other one is about two and three quarters by four and three quarters. So those are the two that I used. Um, so you need those. And then the stamp set I'm using is Nature's Beauty. And I also am using the words from, uh, what is that set called? Hold on, I got it in another box. It is called, per no, not perfect, it was Um. Winter Woods. That's from Winter Woods, those words. All right. Next time I'm going to write all this stuff down before I start. So, <laughs> so I don't look like I'm forgetting everything. Oh, we got a bunch of people watching now. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Kathy Ann. Hey, Debbie. All right. So we got everything else ready, I think. All right. So what we're going to do first is peel off this little sticker. And then... We're gonna do the white craft pad. So I've got the Whisper White Craft ink pad and a little sponge dauber. I'm gonna put that on my finger. And let me put this over here. What you're gonna do is just go real lightly down the tree trunks. And that's just gonna highlight it and make it look like it's covered in snow. And then if you can, get some of these little side little branches. And just keep doing that 
on every one. If you get a little bit in between, it's no big deal. And this is gonna dry a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna go back and put a little bit more on in a second. Because I found that the first time I did it, it looked really good and then it dried a little bit lighter, so I had to go back and put more. So I'm gonna do that real quick, just go back over each one. Oh, you know what? We don't even need to do the middle because that's gonna be covered. So this part, like right here, is gonna be covered, so I really don't need to do that part. So let me just get these. No sense doing extra work, huh? I'll just get the bottom of this part. All right, so that should be pretty good. All right, so really you don't need to do these little middle ones because this is gonna go like right here and cover that. So you just need to make sure the outside ones are done. All right, and then we're gonna let that dry for just a sec while we stamp and then you're gonna stamp everything on the white piece so we're gonna start with the words and that goes at the very top this is crumb cake and these are the words from that uh, winter wood set all right so we're gonna be cutting off this like right at that seam mark right here so I want the words to go right under that Put it right there then that's all we need the crumb cake for all right then we're gonna do the bunny rabbit and the little bush all right so the bunny rabbit's gonna go right under the words right in the middle oh I did it almost a little bit too high but that's okay uh, then we're going to take the bush, put that right next to him. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's just supposed to be there. Okay, I thought that was a little piece of lint or something. <laughs> okay, just having a little weird thing going on there. All right, and then this is the grass. That's just going to go over there on the side. All right, so that was in Memento Black. Let me put all these away. Get this out of the way. All right. So now we're gonna do a little bit of snowflakes in blue. Actually, I think I'm gonna sponge first then do the snowflakes. So this is um, Seaside Spray. And I'm gonna dip the, ink, the um, sponge in there and then just dab it off of my scrap paper and then I'm just gonna kind of go around here I probably should have made a little mask for the bunny but once I color it it's not gonna matter because that'll hide any any blue that gets on them so I'm trying to just stay above the the grass line here make sure you dab it off before you dab it on there you don't want like a dark blob all right so that's good for the sponging then I'm gonna put a little bit of snowfall on there. That's probably good, just a couple little ones. Maybe one more at the top. All right, then we're gonna color the bunny with the Stampin' Blend. All right, so this is my light crumb cake. All right, so I'm gonna, I tried the dark and it was just too dark. So I'm just gonna highlight all the dark parts first. Where the little black streaks are. And then I'm gonna go back over the whole thing again with the brush tip. So that'll be double. Leave, make sure you leave his uh, little tail white. And then I'm going to put a little bit over here in the grass and on the tree or the bush. Just give it a little color. All right. 
So now I'm going to take the brush tip and go back over it. So, and this is going to dry a little bit lighter too. So it'll kind of fade out a little bit. And see, if I got any blue on there, you can't see it now. All right, so that's it for the coloring. All right, now we just got to put it together. So that was pretty easy. All right, so we're going to glue this down. And I'm going to use my Tombow. Whenever I have something that is um, embossed or textured, I like to use the Tombow glue because it's extra strong. Oops, I almost put that upside down. Okay, I'm going to flip that over. Let that dry for a sec. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Betty. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Tracy. All right. So then we're going to glue these two together. And I really don't need to go past that top edge there because I'm going to cut that off in just a minute. All right, so put that on there. It fits just perfect right in there. And if I had my paper cutter, I'd probably do this with the paper cutter, but... Oh, shoot. I was actually going to cut that before. Okay, so now I need to get my paper cutter. Because I didn't want to glue this down yet. I wanted to glue this on here and then trim it. Darn it. Let me get the paper cutter and do it. What did I do with it? Is the paper cutter. I don't know what I did with it. Hold on. Well, I can't find it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna hold it on the edge here and just trace, just cut it with my hands, my scissors. Okay, don't try this at home. I should I should have waited and glued that down later, but I'm just gonna stick that on here, line it up straight turn it over and cut it and hope for the best all right that looks pretty good all right so then we're gonna glue that down so what you should have done what I forgot to do is don't glue this down yet put this on top and then trim it and then glue it to your white so I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals too. You know, when it's live, you just can't stop it, edit, and go back, but that's okay. We all goof up, so you know I'm not perfect by any means. But usually if you mess up, you can fix it. That's the good thing. All right. So then we're just going to stick this on here and line that up with the top. I'm going to put it about right there. All right, and then we want to put a little bit of bling on here. So I've got my little um, elegant faceted gems, and I'm going to put a few of these on here. And I know I should have my picker upper thing. But the problem is I do the videos in my office, and then my stamp room is in my dining room. So I have to remember to bring everything with me in here to do the videos. And sometimes I just forget. I should just get two of them and just keep one in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put like four of these in here. And then that is it, my friends. First card done. So what do you guys think of that one? Give me some thumbs up if you love it or some hearts. Let me know what you think. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Thanks, Debbie. All right. Come on, you guys. Let's give me some loving. Let me know what you think. I just love this little bunny. I think that's so cute. All right. So now we've got another card. Oh, good. I've got some hearts. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's go to the next card. So this one is an old favorite technique of mine um, using the glitter, which we don't have anymore. And I'm really bummed. Thanks. Thank you, Deborah and Carol. Um, 
I didn't even realize we didn't have glitter anymore until I went to make a card the other day. And I just decided to look it up, um, just in case. And I was like shocked we don't carry Dazzling Diamonds anymore. I don't know what anybody was thinking um, about that because that is one of my favorite things. If you know me, you know I love glitter. So I made this card even though we don't have glitter anymore because you can get glitter somewhere else. I'm not gonna say where, but if you get just ultra fine glitter in clear or white, this this will work. But everything else is Stampin' Up! So um, I'm gonna show you how to do this card and it is super easy. And can you see all the sparkles when I do it like that? I had it when the power went out, I was sitting on my desk and it was just, it was like seven, almost seven o'clock. So it wasn't quite dark. And I went and got um, my little flashlight and kind of set it on the table and it caught the light. Uh, the light caught the glitter on here and it was so pretty. And I tried to take a picture because it was just this really pretty sparkle on there. But I don't know, the picture, it was hard to tell in the dark if it came out very good or not. But hopefully I'll look at it later in the light and see what it looks like. All right, so this one, let me get all the stuff out. No, we don't want that piece. Got this piece. I had to keep this in the box because my table's a mess right now. I got too much stuff. All right, let me pull it all out for you. Missing my two. Oh, here we go. All right. I think I got everything. Okay, so this one we're using the stamp set um, Winter Woods. I'll pull it out for you. This is what it looks like. So we used the words for the other card, and I'm going to use the tree for this card. So this, these are both stamp sets that were in the catalog last year and this year. I think they were in the maybe the holiday mini last year, but they're in the regular catalog this year. And I wanted to show you, you know, every time the holiday mini comes out, I never use any stamp sets from the regular catalog. I just use everything in the holiday mini. So that starts next week. And I wanted to show you a few things from this catalog that you could get right this minute. And I'm having a big sale that, well, it's actually already ended, but since the power went out, I'll let it go till like midnight. So if you still wanna order my sale special, and you're one of my customers. You should have gotten an email about it yesterday and today. Um, and, oh, hey, Carol. So it's got all the details in the email. But it's a really, really good deal. So you don't want to miss it. All right, so here's the things you need. You need a piece of Mossy Meadow Green. That's five and a half by eight and a half. And I folded it in half. And then you need a piece of Very Vanilla. That's four by five and a quarter. And then these are my little stickers I didn't have a chance to put on here. So this piece is Mossy Meadow. This piece is Vanilla. So the Mossy Meadow is 2 and 3 eighths by 1 and 1 eighth. The Vanilla is 2 and 1 quarter by 1. Okay? So we're going to set that aside for a minute. We're going to just stamp on this piece first. All right. So we're going to do it right up near the top. And when I've got a big stamp like this, I like to do it upside down. All right, make sure it's good and inked. And we're going to stamp right up near the top and right in the middle. So that looks good right there. Then you're going to lift it up, lift it just a little bit up to the right, put it down again, lift it up to the right, and put it down again. So you've got three generations of the stamp there. And then I'm gonna do that again. Now I want it to match what's already there. So I've already done the dark part. So I'm gonna stamp off and then do up and to the left and up to the left. Okay, so there you go. So that's the stamping, pretty darn easy, huh? All right, so then we're gonna let that dry for a minute because we're gonna be using the um, sticker sheets from Stampin' Up. Now, this is old sticker sheet I had. I probably have like 
eight packs of this stuff. So this says Sizzix on it, but it's not by Sizzix, Sizzix anymore. It's exactly the same stuff, but it just doesn't say Sizzix. It's, I don't know if it says Stampin' Up or if it's just plain white, but it's exactly the same thing. It's kind of like a Xyron machine, so it makes stickers, but your paper has to be totally dry. If the ink is the least bit wet, then the sticky part is not gonna stick on there. So make sure it's totally dry. And I guess while I'm waiting for that to dry a second, I can go ahead and do the words. So we're gonna be embossing. So let me plug in my embossing gun. Hold on one second. Okay. Oh. All right. So I've got gold embossing powder. And this is our old powder pals. If you're if you've been with Stampin' Up a long time, you know we used to carry these and these are the greatest things ever. I don't know why they stopped carrying them, but I never got rid of mine because I love them. You can use a coffee filter or something like that if you want. Um, it'll work kind of the same, but it doesn't have that little thing that you can just pour it right back into the jar. So I'm gonna emboss this, and I don't, you know, I don't think we have embossing buddies either anymore, so we'll just wipe it on my shirt. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing on there. All right, so I'm gonna ink this um, stamp up. This is Merry Christmas. This is from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. You know, I just moved um, a few, about three months ago into this house and I still haven't unpacked everything and there is a box of stamp sets that are all Christmas stamp sets from last year and <clears throat> I can't find it. So luckily I still had a couple that were out but I, I know I have a box of at least like seven or eight Christmas stamp sets that are still in the catalog that I just don't know where they are. They're in the garage somewhere. And then also, when I went to emboss this card, I couldn't find my embossing heat gun. So I had to um, borrow one from one of my downline, Nicole, thank you. Um, hey, Diane. So I don't have my Stampin' Up! heat tool, so we're just gonna use hers. All right, so we're gonna stamp this Merry Christmas right on this little vanilla piece. But I know you guys hate that. If, if you ever moved and you got so much junk and you don't feel like I'm packing it and then it's so hot out and you're just, I have all these boxes in the garage full of stuff and I don't feel like going out there and unpacking them because it's too hot. So my embossing tool is somewhere in the garage. My Christmas stamp sets are somewhere in the garage. But one of these days when it's not a million degrees out, I'll go find them. All right, so we're just gonna put the gold all over here. I don't wanna get it all over my fingers, but there we go. Oh, I got a lot of extra. I really should have had the embossing buddy on this one because it's got a lot everywhere. I really don't know why they got rid of that thing. Oops, wait a minute, I missed a spot. Hold on. I need one of those little brushes. All right, we're just gonna have to deal with this the way it is. It's not sticking to that one little corner there. All right, so we're gonna heat that up. Let me get the heat tool. All right, bear with me while it heats up real quick. Whoops. I love it when it does that. Okay, getting hot, getting hot. Let me turn it around. Whoops. I forgot to bring my little tweezer things to hold it. All right, so that didn't come out as great as I had liked because I had a little bit of um, powder where I didn't want it. I really need that embossing, buddy. All right, but it's good enough, so we'll just make do with that. All right, so then I lost the other piece of it. Oh, here it is. You guys must think I'm like a total flake. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing. She's forgetting everything. She's getting old and senile. All right, so we're gonna put that on here. And if you don't look really close, you can't see all that little <laughs> powder in there. 
Oh, I'll have to do another one. Um, we'll do another one later. All right, so this is dry. So what we're going to do is peel off the backing part of it. And hold on, here it comes. Okay, and then you want to try and not get your fingers on here. Because if you get your fingers on it, then it's going to take the stickiness off. So this is really sticky. And then I'm going to lay it down. And try to get it lined up with the edge. Okay, I missed just a very little edge of that. That's okay. All right, I'm just going to trim this here. Not good for your scissors. Nope. Let me put this back on there. Oops, that didn't help either. I'll put it that way. Alright, so we could trim it. Let me look at the light. Okay. Alright, so now I've got the sticker paper on here. So you want to just make sure you press it down really good. I got embossing powder everywhere. Make sure you press this really good on here so it's good and stuck. All right, and then we're gonna peel this off. Let me get my glitter ready. So I put mine, this is probably like, I don't know, three containers of Dazzling Diamonds. And if you're like me, you've hoarded it because I have like 10 jars of it left. So I'll be using it for a while. All right, so then you're carefully gonna peel this off. Oops, hey Debbie. All right, and check your edges because you want to make sure it's not like peeling back from the edge. And it looks good. If it looks like it's peeling back, then just put it back down and rub it some more. And then peel it, peel it, peel it. There we go. Okay, so this is all super sticky right now. So I'm going to put glitter. Oops. Try not to touch it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, I just love it. And once the glitter's on there, you can touch it. And Rosa, this card is totally for you. One of my customers, Rosa, loves glitter. <laughs> I'm being really sarcastic, she hates glitter. <laughs> I don't know why, because I love it. I'm like the glitter queen. All right, so look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so then I'm going to put the lid back on so we don't spill that. All right, so now what I want to do is put, um, well, I don't want to put this down because I'm going to redo this after because I, I messed it up a little bit. But I'm going to put the ribbon down. All right, this ribbon is a combo that comes, it's the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. So you get them both in the same pack. So it's got this like gauzy one that's really cool. It just reminds me of gauze, like you know when you cut yourself and you put some gauze on. That's kind of what it looks like. And then this one is just like a gold, um, like a linen thread almost. It's so pretty. But it unravels pretty easily. That's the only thing I kind of don't like about it. You gotta be real careful you don't unravel like the whole thing. All right, so we're gonna cut a piece of this and wrap it around right at the bottom of the trees. And then I'm gonna turn it on the back and put a little bit of tape. All right, so then we got that. Then I wanna put a piece of this, and see how it unravels like that? I'm gonna cut that little piece off right there. Ooh, it just starts doing it again. All right, so I want to put some of this here and then wrap that around the back. And I'm going to use a glue dot for this one because if I just put tape, it's not going to stick. So I'm going to put that right in the middle and then put a glue dot on the back here. So glue dot. And wrap that. Whoops. It's 
really coming undone. Okay, oh, I might need another. Let me get another one. Keeps curling up on me. Okay, now we got another one down there. All right, so that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna stick one on the other side. I need my picker upper tool. All right, and then put that one here. Okay. All right, so <laughs> it keeps it keeps wanting to unravel. I might need another one on this side too. All right, so then we're gonna put glue down. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there. All right, and we're gonna flip it over and put that on our mossy meadow piece. And oh, it looks so pretty already. Right, I'm gonna flip this over because I don't want to rub the glue. I mean, rub the glitter, <laughs> not the glue. Up my spot a little bit all right so that's what it looks like now and then I'm gonna take another piece and I'm gonna wrap it underneath this and tie a bow so I want like that much all right I'm gonna go right in the middle and tie a bow And really carefully maneuver that. And remember the secret is hold that center while you pull it back and forth until you get it exactly how you want it. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna trim it. Okay, all right, and then this I was gonna put on dimensionals and then put right here. So let's just pretend that it's on there. Right there. Boop. All right, so there you go. Finished card. I am gonna redo that though because I don't like how that got a little bit messy looking there. But there you go, that's how easy it is. So you can do that with anything you want. Just put the glitter all over it and I know we don't carry it anymore. I'm so depressed about that, but you can get the glitter somewhere else and everything else is stamping up. So I hope you liked all these, well, both of these cards that we did tonight. Sorry, this was about an hour late getting started because um, of my power going out. Um, if you want to order anything that I showed you tonight, you can just go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com right here. Let me get all the junk off of here so you can see it stampingwithlisa.com and um, the hostess codes on there if you want to do that and if you're watching this on YouTube please make sure you subscribe I've got like 999 followers right now or subscribers so I need like one more to hit a thousand and then well then I'll start over going towards 2,000 so I'm all excited because I haven't hit a thousand before so thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you later bye bye